what you should expect on this video i will discuss how to use this substance for your beds be it boilers or layers how to use it to control algae growth in your pipes especially those using the line system with nipple drinkers also i will discuss how to use it to control foul pox that is as an antibiotics how to use it to make your water for your beds stay fresh all day as you all know that light is equal to algae growth this substance is a broad spectrum antibiotics antifungal antivirus a disinfectant and anti-cancer agent for human this substance helps to regulate your bed's hormones it probably in your house it's no other substance but iodine yes you heard me right most of my people welcome to life of a farmer loaf you can also follow me on my facebook page at life of a farmer loaf i sincerely appreciate all my older and new subscribers and my viewers as well please if you are yet to subscribe kindly click the subscribe button and the bell icon for prompt updates whenever i upload a new video don't forget to like comment and most importantly share for others to benefit without wasting your time let's dive into the main cocoa what prompted me to talk about iodine was when there was infectious bursal disease vaccine failure in one of the farm i am consulting for this led to gumboro outbreak on the farm and deaths were dying in numbers that's the topic for another day iodine as we all know is mostly used to apply in wounds and it's mostly associated to be a pharmaceutical product after watching this video then you will appreciate its effectiveness in poultry and other farm animals generally because of its effectiveness please i will plead with you to watch and don't skip till the end because there are a lot of secret tips i will reveal most especially some don'ts you don't want to miss on the use of iodine for your poultry beds one thing to note is that using iodine will not act as a growth promoter or to make your beds have weight but it will improve the health of your gut of your beds and it will also enrich the boiler meat first tip is that deficiency of iodine could affect your layers the egg laid is influenced by the level of iodine intake most times layer farmers don't often wash their overhead tank and this could result to waterborne disease to your beds this can easily be avoided and in turn kills all gems both in the overhead tank and in the pipes from which the beds drink water from the simple trick is to wash your tank with iodine solution allow it to run through the pipes don't worry because even if your beds have a drink from it it's beneficial to them this iodine i'm talking about is not different from that which you know that is used to treat wounds or injury we have both one percent iodine and two percent iodine but worry not because i will explain how to use all of them before i go further do you know that this iodine can help to metabolize excess fat meaning if you have problem of excess fat in laying beds using iodine might help to an extent iodine also helps to regulate the body temperature of your beds and proper functioning of muscles and nerves one very important use of iodine in poultry is that it helps and very effective in control of disease such as foul pulse gastrointestinal infection and even goiter in poultry in all this it also has its own downside just as the saying that everything that has advantage must also have disadvantage the bottom line here is to use it in moderation as excess amount of over usage could lead to low egg production and even small egg sizes in layers and stunted or slow growth in beds this stunted or slow growth from excessive use of iodine is what i have experienced and it was not interesting so i'm talking from experience using iodine on your farm will relieve you of so many worries for instance in case of foul pus, use of iodine is very effective thanks to its antiviral properties it speed up the best recovery from foul pox once you notice foul pox outbreak on your farm my best advice is to first sanitize your drinking water with iodine to help reduce the spread let me drop a tip here if there is frequent foul pus outbreak in your farm even after vaccination i will show you how to take care of it by going to the root cause but first kindly subscribe if that is done then click the bell icon for prompt updates if that is done give me a like and drop your questions in the comment section and last but not the least please share for others to benefit thanks foul pus is mainly contracted through insects like mosquitoes to give you lasting solution 
is to prevent mosquitoes from breeding within your farm. The big question is how do you administer it? There are two ways. One is for use as antibiotics, antifungal, and antiviral. This is simple. All you need to do is add one teaspoon of 1% iodine solution to 4 liters of drinking water. This shall be for one for a week. This applies to cases of foul pores. Then, for gastrointestinal disease, it should be 0.5 ml for young that are up to one month old. While for adult beds, it should be one meal. This can be repeated after three to four days interval or given for two days in a row. The second is as a disinfectant. Before the arrival of your young chicks, you can opt for iodine to disinfect your poultry house, feeders, drinkers, and all poultry equipment as it's known to act as very effective for control of viral infection. This could be used at 2 to 3 ml per liter of water in cases of outbreak and 1 ml to 1.5 ml per liter for mild disinfection. These are all the use and benefits of use of iodine in poultry farming. Subscribe, click the bell icon so you won't miss subsequent upload. Don't forget to like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.